the president of the United Mine Workers said to his tour guide, look at all these gardens. These people are so industrious. Mm. And the tour guide said, you better believe they're industrious. They can mine coal for next to nothing. He was saying that the gardens were basically a source of exploitation. By growing their own food, they didn't have to be paid as much in cash. Right. They essentially were producing their own subsistence, like as though they were serfs working on the Lord's domain. The head of the household is earning wages. He's giving the wages back to the company in the company's store. He's getting flour and pork. But they were producing all of this food with, when there was an, zero money actually changing hands. They were like sharecroppers. Many of them didn't actually have any cash at all changing hands. The garden made the towns more beautiful. It gave them a sense of belonging and connection. It gave them high quality food. But at the same time, it was weirdly causing dependency and uh, even impoverishing in a certain way. 